Hello everybody, I am Developer Relations Engineer David jones Gilardi, and today I have an exciting new voice chat feature to show you in Langflow. Now the new voice mode for Langflow allows you to have a natural language conversation with your flows. Let's check it out. Okay, great. And then we just go to the playground up here in the top right, and you'll notice this nice little microphone icon on the bottom right of your chat. Just click that. You'll immediately be prompted for your OpenAI API key. This is using OpenAI's voice chat under the hood. I'm going to go ahead and put my key in there. And then when you save this, this will actually store it in a global and Langflow that you can use in your flows. And then you'll be presented with this configuration dialog. Um, essentially, just allows you to choose a voice, right? You'll find that uh, voice chat comes with its own set of voices. If you'd like to expand that set of voices, you can add in an 11 Labs API key as well. Totally up to you. You choose your audio input. I'm going to use my Yeti uh, and then whatever your preferred language is. And now let's have a conversation. What is 5 plus 7? 5 plus 7 equals 12. Spell the word necessary. The word necessary is spelled N-E-C-E-S-S-A-R-Y. So while the voice chat feature is really cool in the playground, I think where it really shines is when you hook it up with the WebSocket API endpoint. So let's go ahead and take a look. So on the left-hand side, we have Langflow just as we've been going through, right? But on the right-hand side, I have OpenAI's real-time console. Uh, there's a GitHub repo that you can go to for this code. So let's go ahead and connect. And now it's waiting for me to talk. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say something. What is the square root of 25? The square root of 25 is 5. And if we take a look at what just happened there, uh, you can see the conversation down here. But the real key thing is that when I just had this conversation, if I go back to my playground, you'll see I have this relay session uh, session ID, I just set that in my code. Um, but here, now I'm having the conversation. So I'm actually talking to the flow. Let's go ahead and do another one. Give me a one sentence summary of langflow.org. It seems that the content from langflow.org is related to IBM's plans to acquire data stacks, focusing on accelerating production AI and NoSQL data at scale. For more detailed information, you might want to visit the website directly. And in this particular case, it actually used a tool, right? It used an MCP tool, fetch, to get information from langflow.org and gave me the summary I asked for. Lastly, I'll ask him one other thing. Can you generate me a Ghibli image? Okay, so you can see here that it went and generated that Ghibli image. Now, to be clear, again, what it actually did was call a tool. So if I come back to my playground, I asked it to do this, and it is calling, in this case, generate image, right? So this external client is able to talk through WebSocket to my Langflow in voice mode and then exercise the various tools that my agent has at its disposal. So with that, now you can extend this kind of capability to your own applications. How cool. And there you have it, the new voice chat in Langflow. Now, this is currently under development and we are actively looking for feedback. So please go to the Discord channel and let us know what you think. And with that, everyone, take care and happy coding.